Hey everyone, welcome to Fast Performance TV. I'm Claudio Encina. I thought I'd reach out to you with this video around door knocking. You see, just recently I've had a lot of clients come up to me and say, Claudio, what's the best door knocking script that you've heard or you know of or that you've used in the marketplace? So I thought before we go there, understand the 30 second impact message. You see, I've used that all my life as I was an agent to get two things to get clients to do, and that's to stop and think. Stop and think. If I could do that, I could get the client's attention, engage them, and then hopefully get some rapport and respect and obviously lead to an appointment, because that's what it's all about, right? But before we go to the door knocking script, probably understand some numbers that you need to know. Firstly is, it should take you to connect in an hour when you door knock, probably five people in an hour. Generally, that's the going rate. So you wanna make sure at the times that you're door knocking, so for example, you're going between three and four, which most times mothers aren't at home and you're getting zero in that hour, it's probably not a good time. But if you're going, for example, 12 to 1 p.m. around lunchtime, mothers are home cooking, preparing dinner and etc., you might find that you connect with five people. Well, that's the rule of thumb. Five people is how many you wanna to connect to. And what you do is you're door knocking, you're going through, and every fifth person that you connect with on average is an appointment. So if you can get those numbers first, then you need the script that can help you win the appraisals. So I've got some agents that I work with, and I know one of them in particular, I won't mention any names, but he books every time he goes out one to two. And you may have heard in some of my other videos is you've got to be world class at probably four things in your lead generation that you do. And one for this particular person is door knocking. So what he does is he normally door knocks between 12 and one. And you might be looking over the other side watching this video going, Claudia, that's the worst time to go door knocking. I found 10 to 11. Whatever it may be, you choose it, but understand the numbers. Five connects in one hour, and every fifth one, you're booking an appraisal. So whatever time it works for you, make sure you do. The other golden rule is do not door knock when it gets dark. You see, we're going into winter right now. It's gonna be dark at around five o'clock. Don't door knock after five o'clock. It's just, it's like bad taste. It's like being rude. That's what it comes down to. So, what's the script? Well, let's keep it really, really simple. First, what you wanna do is send a letter out to the area. So, perhaps send 50 letters out one morning, and then two days later, follow it up with a door knock behind those 50 homes that you've sent the letter out to. And the door knock should go something a little bit like this. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, Harry, my name's Claudio from ABC Realty. Look, I was just in the area, I was talking to a few neighbors, and as you know, the market's pretty buoyant at the moment, and you would have got a letter from us which had, had a really strong response. So what we're gonna be doing over the next day or two is coming through the street and providing some of the people in the area the new market price for their home. Because as you know, the market has risen in the last 12 months, and everyone's really curious to know what it's worth. So I've got two to three appointments next week with some of your neighbors. Would it be worthwhile for me to maybe come and meet you and give you an idea of what your home is worth? When's the best time? Monday or Tuesday, four or five o'clock better. Keeping it really simple and getting it trying to flow, but keeping it relevant as well. And bring some social proof into it. Social proof meaning that some of the neighbors are doing it. Maybe perhaps maybe you should do it. Because you know everyone wants to keep up with the Joneses, right? So they're probably thinking, well, if they're doing it, let's us do it as well. And when you keep it relevant, when you're door knocking behind a letter, guess what happens? People go, wow, you had a strong response from that letter? Yeah, we did. They want to think, well, we should be doing it as well. So a couple of little tips there around door knocking that you can really get your teeth around and you can get more success. Hopefully take it out to the marketplace and make it work for yourself. Remember, stay focused, stay in control, and always stay in action.